All right, this is going to be a quick tutorial about how to make a low poly terrain, uh, just like the one that you're seeing in this game. It's for a user on Reddit who asked me about how I made it, and I'm just going to make this quick video tutorial and explain how I do it and bring it into Unity. Um, for starters, um, I started doing low poly animation from this web page, which I'll link in the YouTube description. Um, it's really good for just getting started with Blender, and uh, it just explains how to make some basic low poly stuff. And uh, everything I'm about to do in this video is pretty much based on this tutorial. Um, so I'm using Blender 2.76 and you can see my mouse and keystrokes over here. So the first thing I'm going to do is just shift A, add a plane, expand it with S, uh, bring it up a little so it's not on the grid, uh, hit tab so now I'm in edit mode and then just do W and then S to subdivide. Do that a couple times until, uh, I don't know, it looks like it's complicated enough because this is going to be all the vertices that we're going to be able to adjust in the in the mesh and the terrain. So I think that's about good. Then I'm going to select faces and I'm going to do control T to triangulate the faces. So now they're all triangles. And now I can come into point selection and select individual points. So I'm just going to select points at random, point here and there. Then you want to hit the letter, uh, the O key on your keyboard. So now you're in area selection. Um, I'm not sure if that's what that means. Um, you're basically able now able to use G to translate things. And then um, when you hit G, just stay there. And then uh, you can scroll the mouse wheel in and out to expand how much space you control, how much, how much, um, what the radius of the movement that you want to be. Um, so I'm just going to tap Z so it's locked on the Z axis. See, because before they were like all over the place. And I'm just going to, I don't know make some random hills, then do that same process a couple times again. As you can see, it's pretty simple and kind of fun. I don't want to do it on the edge like that. Um, just random points in there. You, may, you mostly want to make like a bowl shape, so that way your player can't see the horizon. I'm going to do that again. Maybe so that circle is way too big. I'm just selecting all the pixels. I'm going to make that smaller, and it'll get more jagged hills that way. So I'm going to bring those up. But I want a nice random look because all those hills are like the exact same height. So I'm going to do some more. Hit G. Maybe make that smaller. And maybe just like um, push them down. That can also be good. So I have some valleys. And do it this again. Just keep doing this. Um, there's a couple of different features you can use here too. Um, and then I want to make a couple, a couple of really big ones. That's not a good point to select. That's already pretty stretched out. So make these like really like some pointy, pointy mountains. Um, and also what you can do, um, this has a bunch of features over here because uh, when you press O it enables a different kind of selection, area selection, or proportional editing, that's what it is. Um, and you can hit random and so now when you hit G it'll instead of doing like a smooth thing, it'll see how it um, it's randomly moving the vertices. So that's cool for just like a little bit, bit more like texturization but I don't really like that feature that much. I like to keep it smooth. So basically that's all pretty much done for a terrain. You can add some color to it by going over to here to the um, to the material icon. Hit the plus sign, hit new, call it whatever you want, like terrain mat one, color it to like dark red or something, something crazy. Make a new material, call that terrain mat two. I'm going to make this like, I guess, pink. I'm going to go back into edit mode, select some random faces. Um, you can use the, you can press C and it gives you like this brush thing. And you can like brush select some pixel, um, some faces. I'm going to do that, leave that selected, click. Oh, so I'm still in the brush, the brush mode. I think if you just right click, it'll end that. Yeah, so now I'm out. Do that, select the pink one, and hit assign. It'll assign it to those different faces. That doesn't look great, but you get the idea. Um, so now I'm going to save this into my Unity assets for here. And I have this project open right there. So I'm going to save it, call it whatever terrain. Low poly. And Unity's going to take a second to load and uh, import that in. This is all a bunch of my assets, but this is all I brought in and this is a new scene. Just gonna drag that in. Uh, drag that in. And so yeah, and that's your mesh in Unity. 
um, you can add a collider to it, I recommend <coughs> Mesh Collider. And there you go, you can put um, any kind of object on there, your player, or whatever. I uh, hope that's cleared up things for you and 